Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Moklover, as you know. But here we are on March 6th, 1950. One of the probably latest parts of the, any campaign I've ever played up until 1950. But uh, we've had a very kind of weird situation. Off screen, I've just been killing a lot of Africans. You know, what else new? But um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, so we we're, became our 13 Democrats, you know. But, uh, which opened up the new Washington tree once again. Go figure. I think this might be a little bit of a bug. But, uh, here we long has done it. If you don't know about that, please go ahead. I did strike oil, so we can finally strike down a standard oil a company that decided to side with MacArthur and oligarchs over the people. Their control of oil will be nationalized and run by the American Oil Company, a public corporation, while other oil companies will be broken up and taxed accordingly to, by the justice system, in which we're currently doing reward loyalty. The Fishers Act, a critic, uh, Rightfully stated that there was no incentive for officials to sign the Avidavits. In response, the second act is passed to provide compensation for the time spent in public service during the Civil War that was postponed by the Federalists. This back bill requires signing the aforementioned Avidavit, of course. Which is alright. You know, lose some consumer goods to get more daily political power. But, uh, the fate of Senator Oil. So this is, I think this is just a bug that's in the game because we have to be, um, authoritarian Democrat. So, it is what it is, but fate of Standard Oil. With Standard Oil un coming under our control, we decided to keep the oil in Louisiana under government control. However, the fate of the rest of our national reserves has come under debate with some wanting us to break up Standard Oil into many companies and the U.S. government simply owning a share of it while hardliners in the A.A.P. prefer we just keep the oil nationalized and use the funds towards national projects. Break it up. Nationalize it. Uh, as much as I want to do that one, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, break it up because we have no stability. Um, yeah, we have minus 38% because I've literally just gone ahead and... Uh, yeah, I've annexed all the African nations, as well as all South South America. Oh, and you can do Central America too, so. Um, the biggest things I do want to do in this episode are just go to war with the Russians. You know, the Moscow Accord, or what do they call it? So, the Moscow Accord's 2.75 million. At this point, the Third International is pretty much dead. They're about 10 million casualties. The SRI is about to die. I need to call up Deutsche Mad Mad Madagascar, which I'll do, and I'll set us up. And also, off screen, I made sure that I had the Chinese and the Indians go to war, because who doesn't love World War Asia? So... At least these, this way, these guys can kill each other while I'm going to try to fight the Russian state literally by ourselves. Because I'm probably going to kill off the Central American Republic too. Other than that, I'm going to take out all the rest of Africa here. And probably take out Sultan Najd as well. But we, we shall reconvene when we're good to go and have a little bit of American Russo-American conflicts. The Treasury demands capital controls. As... It becomes clear that Long is dead set on enacting his share of wealth plans, making it concern that many among the wealthy, despite having just been saved from socialist revolution, will attempt to flee the nation with their riches. Already the Treasury, IRS, and Interior Ministry are reporting talks of moving out of the nation and are begging us to enact capital controls, which will make it more difficult to leave the country. Two plans have been pushed forward. One that would set a limit on how much the wealthy can take abroad, another that would tax foreign investments and force those moving to a new country to pay a fee that absorbs nearly all their wealth behind, ensuring that they most likely would not. W limit wealth movement for the rich, harsh taxes and fees. Now, I don't like taxes, but this would do very little for us. We've got a lot of manpower. We already don't have political power, uh, but we'll do this one. Let's do that one. Uh, so here, basically, I've been having these cons commands just to go straight to war with uh, you know our enemies, <clears throat> just because I've been annexing everything. At this point, I mean, realistically, we don't need PP just to go to war with anybody. If we're going to go take out all of Central, North, and South America... Whatever. I have to use cons commands because I've been wanting to annex all the nations. Whatever. Also, I had to use cons commands to annex the Central American Republic because there's no way for me to kick them out of the faction for some reason, even at peace time. So, that might be a slight oversight as well. So, I just want to be open and honest with all of you. So, that's how come I've been able to just go to war really quickly. At this point in the game, it doesn't matter anyways. So, yeah. Middle East is looking pretty good. And actually, that's not enough fuel. But anyways, I've literally just gone to war with the Russian national state. And I've been doing a lot more focuses, like the American progress. The AFP newspaper has always been the American progress, and there's no reason to stop that now. The American progress will be expanded and wants to spread the word. Endorsed by the president, it will explode into popularity and become the newspaper of record for our nation, replacing the New York Times and veteran benefits. We need to stay in good grace of the veterans who fought for the American Union state, maintaining their loyalty to the state in the process. We should increase veteran benefits via the direct welfare and have the AFP open op veteran auxiliaries, which we get. More? What is it? Was it here? No, it wasn't there. So one of these gives us more weekly stability. There it is. National political machine. Executive orders have been used to create ag agencies that serve the American people in the past, so long as it does not intrude into state sovereignty. In the past, this power has led to corruption from corporate interests. The president ha is, however, incorruptible, turning the tables against the monopolies and grafters in his place to promise America. It's his promise to America. More weekly stability is great. And then election monitoring. 
The only force that can ensure the democratic process is carried out as the Minutemen, who shall be deployed every November to safeguard voting areas from harm. They shall keep an eye to safeguard the voting process for our third party allies, making sure nothing goes wrong for us. Great. And then People's Commission. Inspired by the judicial districts of Louisiana, the President has created a paralegal representative entity called the People's Commission. The People's Commission is a nonpartisan forum for public discussion that allows the AFP to directly communicate with the American people and hear issues that politicians will not report on and wealth stealing. Tycoons of industry have robbed their people for too long. In light of this, we've decided to implement a new wealth cap. This will allow for a fair distribution of wealth and it may even help our small businesses thrive. This will make the wealthy people angry, but we welcome their hate. And we get even more weekly stability, which is great. So, and for the poll, man. Now the president has brought to Congress legislation to furnish a homestead allowance of a third of the average wealth. A guaranteed annual income of $2,000 in old age pensions is ready to be distributed to loyal Americans until such a time as proper tax income changes are made. These benefits are coming out of the national treasury. Don't ask us how we're making it. Well, it's a lot of taxes. But basically, at this point, even though we've gone down, you know, the, back from the brink and blessed with the peacemakers, we're, play, we're playing as he belong. Just with Jesus Christ and Joseph Kennedy. So, can you imagine your country, America, led by Jesus Christ, who we long, and Joseph Kennedy? I mean, we had the three branches. The Holy, the Savior, <laughs> and the Long. <laughs> It's so weird, but a couple comments too. So, next time, someone recommends that I, whenever I play this again someday, I should go with the Inquisition, because it sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, always draw something like a lot of fun, but even the Inquisition. I'd love to get uh, Father Charles Cochran is, into power, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, someone recommends we also try out the Inquisitor, or maybe Inquisitor Redux. I'm not sure if the feds have it. But the Douglas MacArthur Cincinnati route, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. And we have literally no allies, so. I've got a good amount of industry, but we have about a third, maybe half to a third of what they have, so. Oh, yeah, now we're going to have a lot of convoys to sink. Slovenia, watch out, those Slovenians. Are we going in? Please tell us we're going in. Please take out Africa. No one likes Africa here. God, I'm on such an anti-African, you know, try right now, whatever. Oh, boy. That doesn't look pretty good. Slovenians? We don't believe in Slovenians here. Go ahead, boys, when you can. And Marines. Um, I'm not sure where to really send you all. Oh, there's some naval agents. Oh, the Italian Federation is here. Um, supplies going to be probably pretty bad around here. Oh, I want to take Djibouti over. What is that? Naval supply. That's kind of cool. Other than that, I mean, we're doing really well in supplies, so. Come on, call in the Spanish. I want... Oh, oh, never mind. We'll just go straight into the war with them. Alright, Spain. Uh, let's see, how many divisions do I actually have? Yeah, I haven't deleted any divisions between this episode and, like, or at least when I faded and faded out, and even before this episode, so. Uh, we'll see what happens. Actually, one thing I do want to show you is the Russian state. I looked over here. They don't have a lot of manpower. They're still unlimited conscription for some reason. So, um, I'm feeling that they did not go mass assault, but maybe they did. I kind of doubt it, though. Oh, yeah, we did kill a lot of enemy ships here. Oh, man, I hope our ships are ready. But our ships are pretty darn good. I and mean, we don't have a land auction or naval auction finished yet. But it should be pretty good. And I also sent our main navy over to uh, the Japanese side of things. So, let's do this one next for the purpose. And very good. Hey, you know what? We're going to get more weekly stability anyway. So, I sent my navy over here to help protect Hawaii. So, as you can see, basically a wall of American uh, carriers. <laughs> so many American carriers. It's like real life. I love it. Uh, the more carriers, the happier I get. Just don't ask how we pay for it. But more carriers are just... Mm. There you go. Good luck, guys. You're... Holy crap. Well, we've lost quite a few subs. But hey, it is what it is. Oh, they got some... Uh, huh. Alright. Alright, let's see. Anything else here? Anything else? Lost another sub, so be it. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a Russian plane. Okay. So they have some Russian stuff over there. That's okay. We have more than enough ways to convince them to leave. And by leave, I mean die. There you go. And over here, we're going to put the uh, some fighters. Carrier fighters, eh, those aren't really as good. There you go. There you go. You should have it pretty much done. And us with. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Oh, that's going to be really bad. I mean, yeah, subs. Subs are cheap. 12 subs gone. Nice. Convoys, convoys, escort. Cruisers, two of them. Nice. Advanced cruiser holds. Good to see. Sunk. 
Overall, pretty good. Air superiority wise, not great, but we did put anti air in our division, so that should really help us out here. So we'll see what happens. I want to see a bunch of enemy ships just destroyed around here. But maybe not. What is this? Four planes? Oh, what happened over here? Oh, yeah, I put some destroyers over here too, so that's also very good. Can't offer peace, which is good, which means the Cons commands are no longer on. Wow, that looks really bad for some... some wow, okay. Um, well, whatever. Keep seeing them convoys. Oh, now we're definitely getting into a... Hitting into a wall. It's not very good, but as you can see, I did split up my armies a little bit more. Here and around there. How many men have we lost? Quarter million versus 19,000. I mean, the more territory we take, the more manpower we technically get. Because resistance isn't as high... Compared to the amount of non-core manpower we get, so... Very nice. I don't know, how many ships does Japan have, actually? Lost another sub, huh? That sucks. How are the tanks doing? I hope they're doing relatively okay. The Turks, oh, the Japanese, not even, not even the Turks are defending Turkey too much. It's everyone else that's trying to come over here. Uh, Philip Carroll has leading the other army, which is fine. And we have upgrades, especially for the field marshal, because those are guys who will be pretty important. Panzer experts still have you. Huh. Hmm. What do you guys know? Not too much. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Convoys, 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 convoys. Wow, that's looking pretty bad around here now then. Oh, we ran a few divisions. That's pretty nice. It's more max planning. How about that? How about y'all just hold? Just hold and get to where you need to be. And let's make a few more subbies. We're good because we're losing quite a few of them, so. We're still okay. We've lost. We killed 800,000. God, Wales is its own country. But not Cornwall? This is such a bad timeline. He looks very pleasant. David Lord George is Welsh? I don't even know who that is. Oh, well. Wow. We do have quite a few plans around here, though. How are we losing cruisers here? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why you guys are there. Advanced light ship holes, very good. No. Uh -oh. oh boy. Well, we do have naval bombers here too, so that so that should be pretty good. But we'll have to wait and see, obviously. And I already can tell this is going to become a slog fest, so that's okay. Um, you guys might actually be able to do okay there. Oh, yeah, they're doing relatively okay, somewhat. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of dead convoys, though. That's pretty nice. Oh, hello. Oh, you're attacking us now? Very nice. 1.25 million are dead already. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. No, the escort carrier is gone. Uh, that one didn't have any cap ships on it, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, you are all busy fighting somebody. And where is the next one going to be? You are literally all fighting people. Wow. Wow. Can someone please? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Come again. Anything else for naval stuff? Yeah, I must have grabbed some of this. Wow. That's a combo. That's pretty good. That's pretty darn nice. Are, are we still attacking? I, I, is there, oh, look at all these. Yeah, we do, we do, I do put some naval bombers down here too, so as you can tell. Nice, very nice. Mm, obviously, we're not super strong here, but whatever. Uh, you guys took over Djibouti. Nice. Oh, you guys in Africa are still not done yet. What the heck, guys? Let's finish him off. It's Africa. It's a playground. What do you expect? There you go. And let's do share the wealth. Uh, why not? It's time for come for the rich that helped plunge America into civil war to pay. No person will be allowed to accumulate more than 300 times the annual national income. Incomes are capped at a million dollars, and inheritance is capped at 5.1 million. President Long will prove the newspapers who decried him wrong. Well, at least Jesus Christ will, because that is who is leading our nation, so... 
Ah, the Japanese have arrived. I have no divisions guarding there, because... I understand this whole di naval division limiter, or just division limiter, but that really hurts the player trying to garrison himself. Even to AI, too, so... I understand why it's there, but it's just a little annoying. Whatever. Uh, do you have another upgrade? Oh, do you have an upgrade? No? Okay. I'd love to attack him again. Oh, but they're going to attack us. All right, let's see. Kind boys. Kind boys. Other stuff. That doesn't really matter too much. Cool. Anti-tank guns. All right, losses. 1.73. Archbishop seeks support. Perceiving Long is a useful ally against both the clans. So it's just many archbishops are coming around at Long, Long's distribution. Distributionism. I had previously been hostile to Charles Cochran's influence among the Catholic population, with most notable being Archbishop Edward Aloysius Mooney, whom has now opened the embracing Long's regime. Privately, the American Archbishop desires increased funding for Catholic dioceses, for Long to endorse friendship with the Catholic nations, and for it to be easier for Catholic immigrants to become naturalized immigrants. However, Cochran and also supporters still in the AFP do not desire such an agreement. Thinking Long could do, with it, do it without their approval, since they view the clerisy with a suspicion for not endorsing them sooner. However, the Archbishop promised increased support for Longism if he agrees. We are beholden to the Catholic supporters, not the Church. Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it'll, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we are where we're at, hopefully. And hopefully, no one's going to upset us like this, so. You guys actually win? Oh, somewhat. Let's keep going then. Let's see what happens. Any other kind of boys? Not too much, no. These guys are still killing each other. It looks like India's looking like they're winning just a little bit, so. Uh, not bad over here. Not bad. Over there, not too bad. Escort cruisers go burr. Very nice, very nice. Air production. Which makes sense for them to do. They. What? They must have no political power. They must have no political power. So, Because this doesn't make any sense. Look at all the artillery that. They have no guns. Which I'm assuming that they hit the counter in game where if you have too many guns, you roll over to the negative millions. Because that's not making any sense. How many planes they got? Not as much as I thought they would. I mean, how many factories do they have? Uh, 554, so, I mean. I'm not sure what they're doing, but okay. Just beautiful. Destroy all them shippies. But keep ours it's nice and secure and away from enemy bombies. Wow, we must be losing millions, aren't we? Oh, we've killed off three million, though. Not bad so far. I mean, as much as I want to keep attacking, how about y'all just hold and stop attacking some places, maybe? Maybe not. Okay, you're doing pretty well, though. I mean, 40 combo with infantry, what do you expect, you know? Uh, at the same time... Oh. Oh. I got some good infrastructure in some of these places. Some of these places, not all of them. We can only get how much political power? 1.17. Not bad. Cool. Oh, and after this one, we did want to do this one over here. So we can finally hopefully do this one. Pax Philippica. If I think I read this last time, so if you like to read about this one, please go ahead so we can get some cores on Mexico, Guatemala, San Pedro, Sula, Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Canal, Sudinamarca. Lanos, Ecuador, Lima, La Paz, Choco, Austral, Uruguay, Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires twice for some reason. Easter Island, Southern Ontario. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, we're not even suffering attrition yet. Wow. We are, but they are. I love it. Hmm. Hold on. Does... We're still fighting here. Okay, you guys need to stop. It's time to stop and hold. Tanks, you gotta hold. I don't even know where the tanks are at. Um... Yeah, just kind of hold for now. This is a... Uh, we done. We were more successful than I thought we would be. We're literally suffering from success here, so... Uh, that's a case. Hmm. I want to send you guys over here, but supplies are already really bad. I can maybe send one army over here, perhaps. Help hold the line and keep pushing this way. I'm going to have you guys maybe stationed in North Africa. I might try to invade Italy, actually. 
Yeah, I just go in. You're, you're totally fine that way. You're totally, totally fine. Um, I have a feeling they might attack again, but they're already at 3 million casualties. Oh, roughly 4 million. Um, share the wealth, my friends. We've got to share the wealth. Oh, modern ship holes. Very nice. But th that uses chromium, I'm pretty sure. So that's actually just not great. But oh, homie torpedo. Yes, please. I uh, knew they'd attack us again. <sighs> Beautiful. And are they... Oh, oh boy. That's a lot of planes. That is a lot of enemy planes. We're doing a lot of damage, though. We did put cast. We both have ta uh, tactical bombers as well as uh, close air support working at the same time. So, you know, we're losing quite a few planes ourselves. But it looks like they have a lack of planes, maybe, to a degree. So, we'll have to wait and see. 20... What, what does this button even do? It get, oh, they're attacking us again. More ground crews. I think that means 20% more. Oh, wow. Look at that. Any planes shot down by AA. Oh, that's brutal. But I love it. Up oh, time to counterattack. Push into France. That is the goal here for now. Oh, wow. Oh, did we lose Hawaii yet? No, this is... Oh, this is their own islands, actually. Yeah, this is their own. That's not good. If we need to, we can totally go home and heal. I'm putting it all in this task force just because they didn't have a lot of ships down there. They don't have any capital ships, I should really say. So. Uh, has Samuel learned anything? He's got 49 subs. No? Alright. Halsey, you still learned too much, huh? Kinda sucks. Oh, look at the Japanese are there. Oh, and they have begun... Oh, there goes Spain. Well, the Spanish Republic, at least. Ooh, that is not ideal. JFK? That's gonna be sounding weird, but I'm meet Jude. Send your tanks. Into Kurdistan. I don't think I'd ever say that, but you know. Is there a timeline where JFK does not die to radicals? Or just gets assassinated? I was hoping TNO would be that timeline, but it's not. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. But he dies in the end. JFK does. Sorry. I don't know if you knew that or not, but. Ass. It's good. You guys come up here then. Plug up the damn holes. Come on, kill them all off, kill them all off. Oh, we're actually breaching through here. Oh my gosh, that's so nasty. Incredibly nasty. Oh my goodness. Oh, someone call a doctor. We got a lot of bodies that need to be amputated. What what am I even saying? Um very nice, very good job. I'd love to unify up here again, but we'll see what happens, you know. Alright, we're just flooding into France. Uh, obviously, France has just become a recent puppet, so they don't have that much manpower. They're not that much strength. German Union, how are... Oh, there goes Burma. They have quite a few planes, or quite a few divisions as well. Russia has... Okay, I didn't delete any Russian divisions after, like, last episode at all. And they still don't have that many. So, obviously, like, I'm not going to waste a lot of time by just, like, grinding things out. I mean, realistically, they would have, like, probably a thousand divisions if I didn't delete some of them. But that would make the game so laggy and unbearable that I wouldn't want to play this anymore, so... My apologies. Really, my apologies. But if you guys are still watching, I appreciate it. I really do. Now we'll get all the upgrades done, too. Poland, Russian state. We could do that, but... Mm, there we go. Uh, up, 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 up. God dang, these boys move quick. Can you boys move in? Is that the extra oomph that we need to actually push and go through here? Maybe. That might just be it. Send the send the tanks in. Oh boy. That is nice, nice, nice. Alright, so you boys are done. We're going to... Mm, we could invade, but that means we're putting more naval bases around there and stuff. We don't exactly have that right now. Uh, what am I going to do with you guys? We can start an island hopping campaign in the Pacific. Yep, that's what we're going to have to probably do. Hopefully these guys don't die along the way over there. If, as long as, like, two divisions survive, I'll be happy with it. Wow. Ah, that's still not bad. They have three battleships, I guess. What's the Japanese Navy like? Hopefully it's dead. But I really don't think so. They have... Okay. Like, I didn't touch their ships at all. Uh, I don't know what... Why is their navy so bad? Like, it's Japan. You didn't kill anybody yet. 
Even the Chinese have a better navy than the Japanese. What is this timeline? Why don't they have a navy? That's one of the things I look forward to the absolute most in any American campaign. It's just obliterating Japanese ships. Where is the navy? That You killed off one of my most favorite things. Hirohito. Hirohito, why? Why do you do this to me, man? I feel personally attacked now. I took one of my favorite things to ever do, and they took it away. Why? Oh, look okay. uh, at they Obviously, they don't have a big navy. Persia has no divisions, huh? Man, you are... You remind me of Mao Zedong, even though he, you still have more hair. Hmm. Ah, Kurdistan's gone. Goodbye. Um, how many millions have we lost? Ah, 730,000 is not too bad. Um, we've killed off, like, what, 5 million? So, almost 7 million? Jesus. That's beautiful. And we just keep going and going and going. Okay, yeah. Mm, yeah. Actually, it's kind of nice having the German Union. Oh, they actually got cores on this? They actually got cores on this. Oh, that's kind of cool. Even cores on Austria. Jeez, that's a... Uh... I do bring up a question, though. Why do they own this? Usti nad labum? I'll be honest, man. Even though the line's here, it still looks pretty ugly with that. Wait. Chechia? Chechia? Are they united? Uh, I have a lot of questions here, man. Uh, let's, let's get rid of a lot of enemies, too. Should be good. Uh, get them light lighties. Oh, yeah. Light batteries, dual purpose. Now I'll go with that one. Uh, get just tons of that and get some a lot of that. There will be no subs that we can't find. Torpedoes are nice and all, but I'm going to get even more anti-air. Oh, we don't have enough for that. God dang it. Um, what was it? Oh, crud. I can't remember now. There we go. Okay, that, we actually have enough for that. That's actually pretty nice. Cool. Not bad. <laughs> like I said, the more we take, the more manpower we get, so... Goodbye, Brittany. Hope you have a good time. Alright, let's add in one more here. Uh, I guess we could take a good war with the Swiss, but... Hmm. But we don't have enough... Uh, Stuff. Oh, we'll take them out later on. Either together, like, on-screen or on-screen. I'll take them out eventually, so. Oh, parachute down hardball. Well, that sucks. Well, no, actually, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Oh, look at that. Weekly stability. It's not going up. We have a lot of enemy bombings and war heroes being killed. But we get more weekly stability, which is actually very good. War support would have been nice, but whatever. What's our stockpile like? Uh, strategic bombers are nice. We could nuke. We do have 27 nukes. Uh, I do not want a lot of garbage ships or planes. I should really say these aren't ships. They're airships, but even they're not airships. Airships. They're just ships in the air. Thick ships in the air. Um, medium tanks. I don't believe in medium tanks. Get rid of that garbage. How much infantry equipment do we have? Two point one million. Oh, we're about to hit the the counter. Don't hit the counter though, because then we'll have negative amount, and that would be really bad. I apologize for the clicking, but all right, we're the big hitters. Like twenty three thousand. Um. 11,000 is quite a bit. So, yeah, a few thousand. Okay, there's got to be more than that. Oh, there's 28,000. I don't even have pop to give this to. There you go. Weapons 2, 3, 4. Oh, yeah, here we've hit, hit, we've hit a good point. There you go. Now that's nice. That's better. I apologize for the clicking once again. And boom. Cool. All right, there you go. Nice. You guys are good to go? You feeling okay about it? Must be a lot of air battles going on, though. Mm-hmm. Definitely. They do have more planes in the air when we're taking slightly more casualties, but... Can they really keep it up? Because we're always maxed at 2,000. So... It looks like they can. Interesting. Uh, let's go with more ground crews for now. Go more ground crews. That'll be fine. And here we maybe we'll go. Maybe maybe not. Not to green. Maybe maybe not. Four thousand. My goodness. Oh, there goes Persia. Jesus. 
Well, better guard your southern flank, you son of a gun. This is just a gigantic mess. Ah, oh, we got it, my friends. Now we gotta do more stuff here. Let's get some more political power if we can. I we we could really use some more PP. Townsend plan. We get even more weekly stability. I like that one. Authoritarian democracy, education for the masses. I like that. Legacy founders in scripture. I like that more too. I I want more stability too. So to the victor. We get just more stability and political power. I think that'd be okay. To the victor. It is over. The enemies of the American people have fe been felled and we control their lands. It's time to take possession of the enemy's military assets, placing the AFP in charge of these valuable resources. Our control over the states will set the groundwork for the political future of America. Amen. Oh, crap. We need more of this. Oh, no. Um, can we get rid of this? Yes, we can, but we need political power, so no. Yes, but not really, no. Uh, this is not very conductive to our efforts. If we could please just... Okay, we're literally just killing them all off. And they're leaving. Okay. I'm okay with this. Now, we're definitely struggling mightily down here, but... We're taking over a million. We're almost six million manpower. Literally, we're just showing... Going up, shooting everyone and asking, Hey, do you want to join our forces? And they're like, yes. God, it's good being an American. You guys need to assist, please. If not, then we can stop. Even though we're doing actually really, really well. Not in all places, obviously, like down here, but... We're doing fairly A-OK. -okay. Wow. The Georgian... Oh, wait, we're not at war with Georgia, huh? No. Oh, my goodness. Yosef B. Zhugashevli, the chairman of steel. Wow. That's a lot of manpower. How much manpower do they have over here? Oh, I thought, I had, I thought that the Russians owned Baku, but I guess not. That's a lot. Uh, 1.47, 2 million. That's really not a lot. Then, uh, what the scripture are they on? That's a nice flag, though. It's a very nice hammer. Hammer. Azerbaijani resistance, Armenian resistance. Goodbye, France. Yeah, that's a lot of population. They are only on limited conscription or volunteer only. Okay, okay. They finally raised the conscription level. Hopefully, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, these guys have been cut off. Oh, that is... Oh, that's not good for them. That's really not good. Even more... Modern ship holes, maybe? Modern light ships? They're quite good to have. Uh, military factory-wise? I'm not sure what to make. Just... Against advanced artillery? We have the tungsten and steel for it, probably, so... If we have enough, you know, so be it. Well, they've only killed off 9.44 million. Not bad. Not great enough, but, you know, not bad. Oh, we actually lost the division. Look at that. Matthew Ridgeway, you're still learning, huh? That's always good to learn. Uh, no upgrades, no upgrades, no upgrades. Philip Carroll, yes. Yes, senor. Cool. Alright, so you guys, the Marines, made it. An earthquake hits El Salvador. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. I'm not really too, too interested in reading about that, but it is what it is. It seems like Mother Nature's taking her revenge today. Look at that little carrier. Look at that ship go. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, look at those planes. Oh, beautiful things. Ah, oh, America. As you can tell, I like America. Well, at least for now. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, we're actually over there, huh? Hmm. Well, that's okay. I'll take you four. And, uh... Is that it? I guess we're all going to show up here. Take it that, that, that little island. Maybe we'll start island hopping some more. How many divisions do they have? Up to 82. Alright, up to 82. You guys... Oh, that is... Not ideal, I'd say. So let's go and do this, then. You guys do something like that. You guys do something like this. And we'll meet back up in the middle sometime. You guys, though, come over here and do something like that. And do something like this. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And do something like that. There you go. See if we can do something like this. Oh, Flanders is gone. Goodbye, Flanders. Well, you just ruined the lines, you gosh darn ding dinguses. You ding-dongs. Can't believe we would capitulate the Turkish state. God dang, son. 
And you guys are just kind of hanging out because you don't want to interrupt it, like any of the things that are going on here, huh? I'll get some air bases too. We could probably use them. Yeah, this area is god awful in terms of infrastructure. Oh, baby. Alright, thank you boys. You are going to lead this fight into this group here. Good luck. Are we poised to go yet? Are we good to go? What if we said yes? Will you say yes? I'm going to kind of say yes. Ooh, horming torpedoes are nice. Horming? Homing tor torpedoes. Oh, nice. Japanese ships. Just go bang, bang, bang. There's a lot of Japanese ships down there. To the victor. Very cool. Expand the Minutemen? Oh, we do get more liquid manpower and less supply stuff. We can use that right now. In order to preserve the integrity of our armed forces, we must expand the Minutemen in the field of civil protection and holy protection and border monitoring. The insurgent soldiers, white leaguers, and MacArthurites don't adhere to the rules of engagement anymore. Therefore, we must prepare for any level of brutality on their part. Good. Local agent stuff. Sound super events. Uh, I guess we could do this one since we could use more war support. Um, where are we supposed to get some decisions about these guys? Wait, hold on. Oh no, we're not getting more weekly manpower because of this stuff. We cored everything. Holy crap! That is so nice. Oh, well, not everything, but we cored a whole lot of it. Oh, of course, Argentina. Not Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that. Japanese must be like on that island or something. All right, not bad. Yeah, just okay. Why not? Um, guys, I that's not a good idea to do this. I'm actually gonna send you guys back over here so we can take these guys out. Probably that'd actually be smart. And how's this mess doing over here? Well, it's definitely a mess. Mm. Yep, it's definitely a mess. How many we've lost? 1.57 million. We've killed off 12 million. Not bad. Dutchland, huh? Are the supplies really this bad over here? I will send you guys home. And I'll have you guys attack the kind of center here too. So you all just hold, 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 hold. Don't worry about attacking, guys. Don't worry about attacking. I know it's really bad. Let them attack you. Let them suffer the attrition. Keep going, tanks. Oh, we're losing a couple planes, but we're finding a lot of enemy ships here. No wonder we're losing a lot of planes. I mean, you guys are doing great. I know it's not great down here. I know it's god awful. My goodness. Y'all doing the Lord's work. Especially you, Philip Carroll. How many more planes do they have? I mean, we we've been we've been finding a lot of planes. We had a lot of planes in reserve to a degree, so they're doing they are all in air production, of course. Actually, let's come over here. Stockpile. I still have a thousand, so they get, must be doing pretty darn well for themselves. We got the traders. Yeah, that'd be good to do. Reconcile the left. Uh, we'll probably just go to the AFP alone. But, let's do this one. And then, while it disappears. Oh, uh, commodity controls? Let's do Townsend's plan. Francis Townsend's plan for ending age-old poverty via generous pensions. This scheme has been part of Long's platform will now be enacted. A total national sales tax to help fund the gift of $200 to every retired person over the age of 60, which they must spend within a month to stimulate the economy, which is a, probably a pretty good idea, but I think I'm going to push this ahead just a little bit more forward. All right, everyone. So here we're at. Uh, they came back through northern France. We lost a few divisions. I've actually literally just put some more divisions in. Um, yeah, but it's been pretty bloody. We've had about almost 20 million casualties. We've suffered about 3 million. We clean up Turkey, and this is definitely not the way I expected for me to take out the Russian Empire. Um, 
by going through Central Asia. But you know what? This is Kaiser Redux. Go figure. And apparently the Indians and the Chinese are still killing each other. They're not doing a very good job at it, but they're still killing each other. But let's read about a few more focuses before we end the episode. Now, I can't remember which ones I read. I think we read the four. The poor man share the wealth. It's time to come for the rich to help plunge America. Yeah, I read this one already. Townsend plan. Francis Townsend's plan for ending old age, old age poverty via a generous pension scheme has been a long thing of da da da. Oh, I'm sorry, I already read this one too. I'm sorry, I, I read, I played through so many campaigns and episodes of things. I can't remember what I've done. So, how about education for the masses across a great nation? There are millions more children struggling to resume normal life. However, they face a future no better than that of their parents without education. President Long has approved the bill Congress sped through to rebuild schools and reopen colleges for Americans in need. Legacy of founders and scripture. When the founders declared independence, it was from British royalty, but now it's economic royalty we must battle. Vacation days for workers and nationalized railroads will empower the people while combating the economic barons, commodity controls. The farmers of this nation have squeezed for too long, been squeezed for too long. Despite their goods fueling the rest of America, we shall implement a new department of economics with stronger powers to take a pro-consumer and pro-farmer stance. Farmer stance. It'll start with nationalizing utility companies that took an anti-AUS stance and purchasing agricultural goods. Um, I decided not to go down this way, this way, because I did not want to get Kenyan economics because it is a left. Uh, it goes, oh, I, oh, Kenyan economics would have increased, increased the right-wing populists. Instead, I went with the Scientific Board, the Farmer Labor Political Federation, and the AFP shall enter a symbiotic relationship in embracing scientific planning for the basic utilities and commodities while rejecting the radicals' desire to do this for other goods. A scientific planning committee will be created to aid the DOE in distributing utility goods and purchasing goods from the farmers directly. We're going to do a co-op plan, a popular concept in both wings of the AFP. <clears throat> Farm co-ops will allow for farmers to share in the resources with one another. We will have experts organize both supply and market co-ops depending on regions so they may improve their agriculture output and economic well-being before having the committee register farmers to the National Credit Cooperative. We'll do labor economics as well, uh, if we can. Uh, we can't keep relying on traditional economic systems to serve us if we keep them on life support. A true f labor farm friendly economy must be supported with any unemployment citizen unemployed citizen being able to register for a commonwealth job in which commonwealths will create production based on use. This will be traded on other com commonwealths according to the calculations of the committee. Uh, complete this AFP is allowed with that. I guess we have to go with Rockefeller the left then. Oh. And despite the armies being defeated, the extremists will still populate the American states we brought to justice, too. We need to root out those who will never be satisfied with democracy under Huey Long, name of the militant cells that threaten American populace at every turn. If you'd like to read about those, please go right ahead. Uh, I'm kind of tired of reading stuff, but, uh, AFP alone. Actually, I kind of want to do that one, actually, so. Because I, I went with the left one here just because I thought I could go with the right, probably, so... This is the way I want to go. There is no mistake that the political right made mistakes in supporting either the Feds or Murr. However, their pro-American values in defense of capitalism and against cynicalism is unadmirable. Besides, the machines are too large to head head-on. Instead, we should co-opt them with appeals to the current cultural conservatism and anti-socialist populism, opening the way to take the South. And dismounted Dixiecrats, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Shake hands with Dixie. Uh, black support, as well as a new solid South. Uh, the Southern Democratic machine lost the war and as a result learned its place under Long. They are already making appeals to support him on the national level. We've allowed to maintain the machines in the South and give them some autonomy. So as long as they weed out radical anti-Longists and pay their share, there's no need to further disrupt the South. They are now a reliable voting bloc and white league opposition is dwindling down. Which actually, I might just go back over here and do this one instead. Yeah, I might do that one instead, but whatever. And Banks for America. Um, it's long past time to adopt the popular control plan for banking. A central bank will be created that will have control over the banking industry with a board of directors directly elected by the people. Officers for local banks will be likewise be directly elected to control for parts of their bank not directly regulated by the central bank. The bankers will do what they are supposed to do, run the banks, and nothing more as the people decide the rest. Every man a king, what began as a dream and those lifted from a motivational book by Orison Sweat Martin. Every man a king is now a political reality. With the tax rates and public control of viable utilities, every family could be guaranteed to receive a minimum guaranteed living income, finally ending poverty in the u.s very nice imperial presidency oh boy well if you'd like to read about that one please go right ahead as well as we have a perfect democracy which is probably the way we actually probably want to go but you know it is what it is but i hope you enjoyed this episode tomorrow's episode will be the last one hopefully because i want to finish off the moscow accords i'll probably try to invade uh, japan as well and yeah we'll finish off and maybe take out whoever wins between the war between these two thanks for watching have a great rest of your day